little ducky. <coughs> Ow! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Scrand Line. I'm Nick McCready's and today we are traveling in a travel time machine, specifically to the 80s when the Australian Women's Weekly birthday cake book first came out. What a joy this book is. Like purely from a design perspective, this thing is filled with really interesting cake design choices. <laughs> Lately, I've been really fascinated with stuff from the 80s. Like the 80s didn't just give us incredible music, but it gave us some really amazing and kind of bonkers food. And in this day and age where we live in like Instagrammable TikTok food trends that are like really fast paced, it's really interesting to go back in time and see what was trendable back then and what people really love. And what I've gathered is that people loved simplicity. They didn't need fondant toilet roll cakes and they just wanted stuff that was easy and fun to make. Now, before we hop in our time machine, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so that you're notified as soon as my new videos come out. For today's cake, I'm gonna start with my vanilla cake recipe. By the way, guys, my vanilla cake recipe is so delicious and it's really vanilla-y and it's because of my own vanilla extract recipe. So give this one a go, it's really delicious and it's perfect for making cakes like this where you need to carve things out. We're gonna need two cake tins for this recipe. The first one is a loaf tin and that measures 25 centimeters by 10 centimeters, but it doesn't have to be that exact measurement. It just needs to be a loaf tin shape. I'm gonna spray the bottom with some oil spray and then add some of those little clip things that's gonna keep the paper in place. Then we're gonna fill this three quarters of the way, set that aside. Then we've got our square baking tin and that one measures 20 by 20 centimeters. Same deal here guys, line it, fill it with the rest of that batter. We're gonna bake these both at the same time. Once your cakes have baked, I would actually recommend doing this the day before and then once they've cooled to room temperature, pop them in the fridge and let them chill because it's gonna make carving these so much easier. Today, we're gonna be using my American buttercream frosting to decorate the outside of this cake. So if you wanna learn how to make that, the recipe's on my website. If you wanna watch a video on that, I've actually made a video. Click up there and watch it after this, or you can pause this and watch that. We are gonna be making this peach colored or kind of like a yellow peach color. So to achieve this color, we're gonna be adding five drops of yellow food gel and two drops of pink food gel. Mix, mix, mix until everything is well combined. And as always, make sure you scrape down that bowl just to make sure everything is being mixed in evenly. Our cakes are perfectly baked, perfectly chilled. So let's begin with what is gonna make up the chest and head of our rubber ducky. Cut a third of this loaf tin away from the cake and you can do what you like with this piece, the smaller piece. We're only gonna need the larger piece. Then turn it on its side and cut an angle off. Now, so that we have the chest piece different from the head shape, we're gonna be cutting some wedges around the cake. So about a third of the way up. So the larger bit is gonna be the head, the smaller bit down the bottom is gonna be the chest bit. The goal here is to get that top bit as round as you can. So I started off with some bigger chunks and then I'm using my serrated knife, which by the way, would recommend using one of these because it's so much easier to kind of smoothen out and round off the head. Let's move on to the duck's body. This is actually really, really cool. So let's begin by flattening off the bit at the top of our cake, just slightly. And then we're going to slice the cake in half. We're gonna end up with two rectangle shapes. We're just carving bits away to kind of shape our duck's body. So we're gonna begin with the front, two angled chunks. At the back, two even more angled chunks. At the back of our rubber ducky, we're 
going to kind of do a curved chunk out of the bottom and then we're going to be doing a curved chunk at the top so you can see we're already getting that nice cute rubber ducky shape I'm just going to smooth the edges off a little bit because I don't want this to look too angular. Now that we've got the rough shape, we're going to just test to make sure that the chest and head sit at the right angle. If it looks a little bit like the chest is too straight, we want to cut more of an angle off the front of the duck's body. Now that we've got the shape looking absolutely perfect, we're ready to start assembling. So we want to make sure that our two rubber ducky body bits actually stick together so we're going to be using buttercream as glue add a little bit of buttercream in the center smoothen it out and then you're going to stick these two back together it's not absolutely necessary to crumb coat your cake but i would recommend doing it because it helps keep things a little bit neater and i just i've gotten into the habit of doing it so i always do it now once you've done that add your rubber ducky head on top and to help secure that in place we're going to be using some skewers i would recommend making sure the pointed bits are facing up so that once you've popped them in you're actually going to cut them away with some scissors and you're not going to end up with sharp pointed bits in your cake finish crumb coating the rest of the cake we're going to pop this in the fridge for one hour to chill completely For the duck's eyes, they have like these licorice rings on the outside. So making those is easy. You're just going to cut strips of licorice and then just like pinch the ends together to form your ring. Making the bow tie was very interesting. I'll admit I've never done one before. So I had to watch a couple tutorials on YouTube. If I haven't demonstrated this clearly enough, first of all, I apologize. But there are loads of people making these on YouTube. So look them up but this is how i did my one our rubber ducky has chilled in the fridge and we're ready to add the final layer so you don't need to be perfect with this which is actually really really fun because that texture that you're achieving it actually makes it look like it has feathers the popcorn head or afro is an interesting choice but who am i to question that i'm just gonna go ahead with it and yes, before anyone asks, it is cheese flavored popcorn. Yum yum. <laughs> Let's add the licorice rings on the front and then the orange Smarties are going to form the pupils. The chip lips are probably my favorite part of this cake. Design wise, hilarious. Add some red Smarty buttons on the front of our duck. Add your bow tie and guys, that is straight out of the 80s, like, but it looks so cool. We learned today that ducks have luscious afros, popcorn afros. Also, they're super classy because they wear a bow tie and you don't need fondant to make a really cool cake. This is just buttercream and I'm not gonna say candy, chips and popcorn and some candy. If you'd like to make your own version of this cake, I've left the instructions in the description box below for you guys. And I'd love for you guys to grab a copy of this book. I have a copy. It's just filled with the most joyous, weirdest cakes, like weird for us in 2021. But back then, they were probably like amazing choices for kids' birthday cakes. And I think they still are. I'd love to see your take on the Women's Weekly Cake Book recipes and I would love for you guys to suggest which other recipe from the book you'd like to see me make on the screen line. If you'd like to see more of my recipes I have them on screen right now. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you guys had fun watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the scram line. Bye. By the way, guys, I am not tasting this cake. I can't stop staring at it. I finished it yesterday. It's been in the fridge. Anthony thinks it's the creepiest thing he's ever seen. I think it's hilarious. I just can't stop laughing. I mean, it's awesome, but it doesn't belong in 2021. Like you can tell this is an 80s cake and I just don't have the heart to bite into it. I've tasted my vanilla cake recipe loads of times. I know what it tastes like. So if you want to try it, make it.